So is what's happening with Kingfisher symptomatic of a larger problem with the Indian aviation industry and how far can the government actually go to help? I spoke a short while ago to the Civil Aviation Minister Ajit Singh and also, well, the man who used to own Air Sahara, Subroto Roy. Mr. Singh, as Aviation Minister, what would you tell passengers around the country who are stranded after Kingfisher cancellations for a second day running? What would you tell them today? I am uh, sorry for uh, inconvenience they have faced and we have asked other airlines to take them to their destination and no change in fares. Mr. Singh, uh, the, the worry is that uh, we see the Kingfisher as a current airline which is in focus, but there's been so many other airlines which are currently facing problems. Most of the major private airlines are running losses. Air India, there's a bailout every few months with taxpayers' money. It's the industry which is in a crisis. As the minister, sir, what are the solutions for that? See, I agree with you, the whole aviation sector is in trouble. The, all of them, most of them at least, are under financial stress. And it's been for quite some time now. Now, recently we have taken some measures which should help them. Uh, one is that uh, we have allowed them to import the aviation fuel directly. Second is that we, are, we have moved a cabinet note to allow foreign airlines to participate in the FDI in the aviation sector up to 49%. And third thing is that we have come up uh, with a new bilateral policy where the private players will be given traffic rights mm -hmm. to other countries. Mm -hmm. So all these measures should help. And the fact remains that the passenger growth uh, will continue. So there are problems, but uh, we hope in the long run uh, this sector is uh, vital for our economy mm -hmm. and it is in a growth mode, so we'll overcome these problems. Do you feel that the current financial... As far as Air India... Yes, sir. Go ahead. As far as Air India is concerned, yes, we have uh, done some financial uh, uh, restructuring plan that has been approved. But we are also making... We are planned to do is that, that Justice Dharmadikari's report, uh, which is sorting out their uh, cost structure and the problems caused by the merger of Air India and Indian Airlines, uh, that was uh, submitted to the ministry uh, about two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And we have constituted a committee. And by early next uh, month, we will start implementing it. But and also, we are very sure, we are very firm that the Air India also will have to fall in line with the industry norms mm -hmm. as far as their cost structure is concerned, as far as their uh, personnel policies are concerned, mm -hmm. because uh, they have to be competitive. And you are right, government cannot keep them bailing out. Uh, Kingfisher has uh, said today, sir, that the half the problem was unexpected uh, seize, uh, sealing of their accounts by the income tax departments. Would you intervene or would uh, the government actually intervene on an issue like this, seeing how much passengers are being inconvenienced? You mentioned what a fast-growing market it is uh, of uh, passengers as well. India amongst the fastest in the world. See, DGCA is uh, making an inquiry on this issue, and uh, they have called the uh, Kingfisher CEO tomorrow. So let's wait and see what the report of uh, DGCA is. Uh, so because as far as tax collection, there, there are rules about it also. See, when you spend money, uh, you pay salaries or whatever, some tax that you has to be deposited. Also, the, yeah. joining us uh, now, sir, is somebody who's, of course, had intimate knowledge of the aviation industry, and that's uh, Sahara Shri uh, Subroto Roy. And, Mr. Roy, uh, you've been hearing the civil aviation minister. Is there something you would like to say uh, about airlines and uh, for the private uh, domestic airlines and in the entire aviation industry? What would you like to say tonight, sir? First of all, I would like to say that aviation industry is a very, very important thing for any developing country or development. If you want you talk about the development, I think aviation is the key. So government should act like a guardian, more like a guardian than the regulator, I believe. Uh, you see, we must do something where the growth can be maintained, and growth can only be maintained when the price is right and stable. Because the way the price of tickets have grown, I don't think growth can really uh, take care of it. So, there are certain factors government should seriously consider. I think, I was hearing our Honorable Aviation Minister, he was right in saying that they cannot go out of way and they cannot ask banks to do out of the things. But, I tell you, the biggest problem which aviation faced right from the beginning in India is the taxation, that is, sales tax of the aviation. 
oil. The fuel. Fuel is a very, very important factor. And if somebody calculates the amount, amount is not big. And it can be a small subsidy also from the government side. You see, it is, uh, it is something irony that as per international treaty, the sales tax is not charged on the foreign airlines. And domestic airlines, they have to pay. That's an interesting point. Mr. Ajit like Singh, it, if I could just ask, sir, politically no, no. we know that rail fares are never hiked. We know that uh, and uh, Mamta Banerjee has, of course, uh, told her rail minister again, or India's rail minister, that she doesn't want to see passenger hikes in rail fares. But aviation industry, it's seen as politically incorrect to suggest that the government should intervene or there should be a subsidy. Do you agree with that? Because many would say that, especially when it's uh, aviation industry in India, it is backed by big corporates earlier, Sahara, now Kingfisher. Do you agree that you can't treat airline fares, that there shouldn't be a subsidy politically? This should be an industry that doesn't need government help or intervention. Mr. Roy making the point that what about small measures in the budget like uh, changing the taxation? Uh, Mr. Roy is right, right about one thing, that uh, it's a vital sector for economic growth. And he's right about the aviation fuel also because uh, worldwide it uh, constitutes about 20% of the operating cost of the airline. Mm -hmm. Here it costs about 40%. But we have taken steps by allowing them to airlines to import the fuel directly. They don't have to pay any, any sales tax, which is as high as 34% in some states. So what Mr. Roy is suggesting, we have already taken that uh, step. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.